Welcome back to a No Rolls Bard plays Call of Cthulhu. Yes, don't worry, you'll have your blonde idiot back soon. But first, we have to finish what we've started. If you haven't watched the first video, what the hell do you think you're doing? You thought you'd peep ahead? See if you can work it out, get on the comments of the first video and say, oh, spoilers, here's what happens. No! You go back, you watch from the beginning. And for those of you who have, have bad memories, here's a quick recap. Our investigators have arrived at Reek Manor, where Sir George Reek has promised to reveal to them a discovery that's going to change their lives. But just as he did, he got murdered. Everyone's a suspect. There was some horrible business with um, uh, <laughs> someone putting their hand into his body. <laughs> this one. Oh, that, one was that was you. me. Uh, there was some horrible business with someone putting their hand through a painting. That was this one. <laughs> that was this one over here. There was some horrible business with a priest trying to have a pee. Definitely a priest. Uh, definitely a priest. Um, definitely a pee. What else happened? <laughs> no, it was a number Anyone two. else remember anything? <laughs> Very quick one. Um, there was some horrible business upstairs in the trophy room with something kept under a cloth. There was some horrible business with Harry Peeps who drank too much whiskey and had a nasty sleep. <laughs> and then someone turned up. The butler, having phoned the police, revealed that the detective is here. And the detective came to look at the body. And that's where we left things, with everyone gathered once more at the crime scene. So, without much further ado, let us continue with The Call of Cthulhu. So, You've all been gathered in the dining room and the detective has told you that, um, yes, the killer is still among us. He says uh, no one should leave the property. But first, we should get these lights working. Um, where is the generator? And the butler turns around and says, uh, well, um, it's in one of the converted stables near the lake. I will need uh, volunteers to go and fix the generator. I'll go. I've got electrical repair. I'll come with you. I'm not going. I have. Uh, I'll go by myself. <laughs> we we must not. Um... I'll go. Oh, no, I'll someone go else with come you. as well, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I insist. Come. Someone go with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like two people, please. <laughs> someone else come as well. I'm, I need to. I'm pretty good at painting. Uh, will that help at all? Sounds perfect. You're, you're in. <laughs> okay, yeah. we we can we can go. Very good. I would like to come too. I think you and I. Miss Cordova, could do with a quick catch-up, don't you? I don't think we've ever spoken, but All I would the more love to, have to a catch up. speak to you and meet you, Father. Definitely, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you, you may feel free to uh, make yourselves comfortable in the house, but keep an eye on each other. Everyone is under suspicion for the time being. I will be conducting interviews with you one by one in the lounge. Understood? If there's a painting in the lounge that looks different, it was like that before, before Reek's death. So there's nothing suspicious about it. There was always a painting. I've lived here before. There was always a painting with a, with a hole in it. Just so you know, he liked it that way. And that fireplace doesn't move. <laughs> why would you Sorry? Think, why would you think it does? Father? What? <laughs> well, it doesn't move. He takes a notebook from his pocket and quietly makes notes for about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, I will begin with um, the maid. They make their way out of, the, um, out of the dining room. But he stops and he turns to the constable, who is a... Um, a diminutive man. He's got a bit of a five o'clock shadow as well. He has these sort of darting eyes. He stood, he stood right in the corner of the dining room, the furthest away from the body. And um, he doesn't really make eye contact with anyone. Uh, and uh, the detective says, um, Constable Quinell, you... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
excuse me if no one else does. Uh, oh, I liked it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <She's>, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Together. He says, uh, Constable Quinell, you keep an eye on the body. <laughs> and uh, he sort of says, oh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll wait here. And he, he stands there awkwardly. Anyone in the room observing this is welcome to make a spot hidden roll. 60 for me. 21. Oh. 50 for me. I don't think I need to perceive 29. anything else in this game. 50 for me. Uh, 72, that's a failure. 25 for me. That's a, oh, that. that's a one! Oh, wow. that's a one. oh his first <laughs> roll! <laughs> uh, 45 for me. Eyes of a cat. That is... 93. 93. That's less good, that's isn't it? That's not a fumble. If I can't, I, I can't hand put through it. a fist through the spot here. <laughs> no, and I, it wasn't anyway, it's just a failure. So you walk into a dining chair. Um, <laughs> yeah. Some of you notice, um, besides what I already said, that the, the constable is, uh, his uniform is very ill-fitting. It looks like he's been worrying at the, uh, at the sleeves. Um, it looks kind of tattered, but Buck McFadden, with your eagle eye, you notice there are blood stains on the cuffs. Almost imperceptible, but you know a blood stain when you see one. So, uh, you four are off to the generators, is that right? Oh yeah. Are we? To the, to the lake. Very good. To the stables by the lake. Okay. I think I probably could take us there. Well, the butler um, insists on guiding you through the house. Uh, so he says, um, if you'd like to follow me, and he walks you across the hall, stepping over the, um, the now cooling joint of gammon that's lying in the middle of it. Um, <laughs> I avert my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And he takes you into the conservatory. The conservatory is humid, even though this is you know, Halloween night and it's pretty cold and stormy outside still. But the conservatory is overrun with these exotic plants. They've they're huge. They've grown right up the glass. They all make like, sort of creepers uh, connect up over the ceiling. It's extraordinary in here. It, it, it has that kind of soily smell. Um, you notice there's also a telescope set up pointing out of one of the windows. Um, if anyone's got any natural world or botany or anything like that, Ooh, you're welcome to. Me, um, I do. Oh, go for it. I grew up on a farm. So I know there's, space. There's more, there's more to me than being a total loser. Anyone, do you pass? Yes! Hey! What's your I natural pass. World? My natural world is 55. You oh. passed by one point. Still passed. <laughs> Still good. These plants, not only are they prodigious and they shouldn't be this successful in this environment, you notice that some of uh, the bark on the trees has died, but then has grown again. And there's fresh growth after these bands of death. And the growth is incredible. The life is very vibrant. Even the colors of some of the plants seem unusual, unusually vivid. It's hard to say exactly what colors they are. It's not quite green. Uh, it's not quite... Um, Scarlet. It's not quite mustard either. But Seems normal. <laughs> Nothing to worry about here. That's a no, trick. no. Um, definitely not normal. <laughs> <laughs> no, on the contrary. Um, <laughs> lots, <laughs> lots to worry about. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, anyway, the butler opens the back door, allowing the wind to howl through it and bits of rain as well. He points up into the darkness and says, um, to get to the um, generators, you simply follow the path towards the lake. I'm sure Miss Cordova knows where she's going. There's a potting shed on the right, and then after that, the old stables that houses the generator. Um, I thought you might need these. And he hands you two uh, wind-up uh, flashlights. Whoever takes them. I've got one. Ooh. I will take one. Very good mime there. <laughs> You've got a sleight of hand. You've got a sleight of hand, Father. You can... It's all right. I'll... Accompany you. Right. 
I wouldn't give it to all Butterfingers over here. <laughs> 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 I'm 27. I've got an and dexterity I'm 20, of 55. I'm 28, I think, actually. Oh, yeah. No, I'm 28. The older butterfingers. Young butterfingers. Young butterfingers over here. <laughs> Fingers made of butter. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, the melting in the heat of the conservatory. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Is the way that we're going out into the out towards the lake? Hmm. How how close are we to civilization? Is there a way that we can keep going, not go back to the house and get away? Um, it's it would be a long walk. You're talking fifteen miles mm. in the storm. Also through the woods as fuck. <laughs> you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> she might it to God. God answered. Um, God relayed the message to me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> you're a priest. C-C-C-D-D-D-D-D-D. I'm a priest. Yeah. Didn't you know? You did hear it. Um, I'm going to start walking. Mm. I want to listen as I walk to see if I can hear anything apart from the storm. Uh, give me a listen roll. Okay. My listen is 54. 52. 52. Very nice. You rolled under ears. Nice mm-hmm. success. Um, well, you're making your way up this path, presumably, more or less together. And there are trees and d- dense woodland to, the, to your right. And you do hear something in the woods. Sort of cracking of twigs. As if someone's... Or something is running through the trees. It's almost imperceptible, but it's sort of alongside you as you walk. I'm going to turn my flashlight in towards the trees. Oh, well, that's a, that's a spot hidden. Um, yes. It's called over. Have you spotted something? I'm not sure. Just need to look. <laughs> yeah, you will see her... 21, that's a success. Fantastic. My spot hidden is 45. So yeah, you see her suddenly stop in her tracks and turn the light into the trees um, the trees cast these strange you know shadows they seem to move ever so slightly and it must be because your hand is quivering with the flashlight the that is... must be what it is what up in girls there was... <laughs> 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 I wish I could hold a torch <laughs> but okay. then you see something just outside the uh, corona of uh, of the flashlight, these two points of light, yellow light, not quite yellow, maybe more red or, or, or green, quite deep in the trees, and they're quite close together. They're about head height. Fuck. I'm going. Is that, is that disturbing you? Would you say? I would say it's disturbing me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would say it's roll. disturbing me. Let's have a sanity roll then. Sanity yeah. of fifty-nine. I've not failed the sanity roll yet, so I'm sure. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Put your fist well, for your own head. Let me ask you this: Do you turn the torch onto it? Yes. Okay. Let's have a sanity roll. Forty. She's done it. I'm fine. Whoa. Uh, Maybe I'm fine. I'm just not insane. You. <laughs> Turn the torch onto it, and yeah, there's nothing there. What's wrong, Butterfingers? <laughs> Why are we taking so slow? You just stopped in your tracks. Okay, I'm Harry. I think that's your name. Yes, well, remember. sir, River, Father, River, Proletariat, Ivy. <laughs> Don't get Put it wrong, over. you guys. Really I remember upset. your name. <laughs> it's I didn't hear it. Butterfingers. <laughs> oh, yes, it, I did. Um, <laughs> young Butterfingers, yeah. if you want to give my full name. Oh, yes, yes. I, I think I can see something. I think I... I'm not sure. I think I can see something in the woods. Where? Over there. You point the flashlight again? Yeah. There's a face. <laughs> immediately in the torchlight. <laughs> got a huge beard and these red ringed eyes and this big sort of bulbous red nose and it's 
You recognise him instantly. It's the gardener, Mr. Green. Oh, Mr. Green. <laughs> oh, Mr. Green. Mr. Green. Oh, Mr. Green. Oh, Mr. Green. Oh, Mr. Green, it's you, thank he, goodness. He, he takes the roll-up cigarette from his mouth and says, What's going on here? What are you doing? I thought you those kids come back. They always come. Halloween, they like to come and jump in the lake, drown themselves, they do. Oh, Mr. Green, I'm so sorry. I was the life frightened. Out of me. Yeah, something about Halloween and the, and the night and this storm and... Well, have you heard what's happened to Sarik? No. He's dead. He was shot. Shot, you say? By someone who isn't a priest. Or a musician. It could be any one of us. <laughs> Apart from Apart me. Apart from me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If it's Harry, I'm actually impressed, I think. <laughs> I don't Sorry. even think he could load a gun. <laughs> I don't think he can spell gun. <laughs> or Harry. <laughs> See, I, uh, I, I was just um, uh, tending to the horses and then I saw what looked like a little boy here and I thought it was one of those kids come to jump in the lake. I'm actually, my size is, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then as I got closer, I realised I was too tall for a boy. Um, just, just... <laughs> Very weedy looking. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Green, it's so lovely to see you after all these years. We're heading mm. to the stables now, actually. Could you come with us? We, the generators needs the generator needs fixing. Well, let's have a look at it at once. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, come on, then. All right. Um, and you trudge on towards the generator. Meanwhile, back in the house, where it's safe. <laughs> 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 what are you two up to? I want to speak to Officer Quinnell. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Quinnell. I don't think he's going to make it very long. So, is he just standing in the same spot at the moment? Yeah, he's sort of looking at his shoes. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just going to walk over to him. He sort of looks at you. <laughs> Poor Pete. Poor Pete. <laughs> He's not here. He's not here. He God. loves role playing games. He loves role so much. <laughs> he never gets invited to any of the role playing games. I don't know. I heard he ran a three year campaign of D&D where everyone cried at the end. Yeah. It was that dull. <laughs> <laughs> What a waste How of time. How well do you know, Pete? Hardly at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it that way. <laughs> he's, got, he's got the measure of him, apparently. Let's keep it that way. an unfair character assassination. <laughs> oh, I want so to see it. Cruel. <laughs> <laughs> well, the character assassination continues, I guess. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you, sir? You seem a little nervy. Oh, uh, well, here, uh, um, it's the first time I've been at a murder scene. It's a new experience for me. Have you seen the body? He glances over and says, Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? You seem so rattled, officer. Uh, uh yeah, uh, just this room seems to give me a, um, it's a bit, it's a bit of a creepy place, this house, isn't it? Looks down at the cuff with the blood on it until he knows you've seen him look at it. He puts his hands over his cuffs and stands there sort of cr like awkwardly with his arms awkwardly crossed. Are you comfortable around blood, officer? Um, well, I've not had much experience of it, to be honest. I disagree. There's blood pumping through your body right now. I think you know blood very well. As do we all. Um, a single bead of sweat <laughs> runs down his face and goes into his eye. And he sort of, 
he sort of blinks and, and, and then starts rubbing his eye really quite aggressively. Um, he says, I, I, don't know what you, I don't know what you're driving at, sir, um, but I think I'm going to have to ask you to leave the, the room. Why? It's a, it's a crime scene. I would have thought that an officer of the law would want to keep his eye on anything dangerous. It doesn't pay to take your eye off something dangerous, officer. Are you confessing to the murder, sir? I am just helping out an animal in need. The constable, I think, looks to. <laughs> I've started to make my way over. <laughs> You've been walking uh, over this entire I was, time. I, I wanted to be in this conversation, <laughs> but it takes me a long time to get there. <laughs> and as Anna's sort of arrived, Anna, McFadden, McFadden, um, we should we should have a quick discussion about what was upstairs. <laughs> Chin up, officer. You'll see more, I'm sure. I think. Uh, you can do a psychology role on him if you want. You probably both can. You witness this yeah, I've only got awful, I've only got awful abuse psych. of a sweet and innocent man. <laughs> oh yeah, walk it back, Dom. Yeah. <laughs> this is a character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've only got ten, so I'm going to need ten or below, and it's not going to do it. I need ten wrong. as well. Any similarity to persons living or dead? Nope. Is on purpose. Twenty-five. <laughs> No, neither of us see anything, man. And very well observed. Any of you want to spend any luck? <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. I think I've got a measure of him. Mm. It doesn't measure too much. He mutters something under his breath and he says, he says, uh, you know, you know the stories about this house? Some of them, but um, what ones are you specifically thinking of? <sighs> used to be a witch lived here. They burned her. They burned her because of the thing she did. What might those things have been? Uh, the constable says, um, well, uh, the, she, uh, the, there was all the failing crops, uh, they said, and then when she was here, everything grew and, and everyone around, they couldn't grow anything. So they said it was, um, it, it, it must have been her magic that did it. Uh, uh, and everyone else's, everyone else's farms failed, but she was really, hers was really good. It, it, it kept the estate going. Fascinating. But they say that when they came to the farm, all the animals were, all the animals were wrong. Oh. Because they'd been touched by the devil, you see. They'd what? been touched by the devil. What are we talking here, like a, you know, sort of twin-headed calves? Uh, got one of those, actually. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I, it's just the stories, isn't it? But she'd have this, she'd collect the milk from the, from the wrong cows and, and, and she'd give out the milk and it made people strange. Anyway, they, uh, they, 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 they hanged her in the end. They hanged her, they And now the place is haunted. Don't you, don't you think this place gives you the creeps? Well, I think, um... If you look into the history of many places, you'll find some dark mark along the way. I wouldn't know anything about that, sir. When you say made the people strange, strange, how? I I don't know, sir. It was a long time ago. I wasn't here. It was hundreds of years ago. Um, But you've heard the stories? Everyone's heard the stories round here. So what do the stories say? They say that people went... People changed. Their bodies changed. They grew things they weren't supposed to grow. Where? What did they grow? Where did it grow? Extra fingers, toes, I don't, I don't know. Too many teeth, or... Interesting. <laughs> it's very hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might just have a sit, a sit down just for a minute. Just for, just for a minute. And he goes and sits at the dining room table and just stares at the fire. 
What do you two do? There's blood on that man's cuff. Mm. But he seems so weak. You certainly doesn't seem the sort of chap that's got a, a stomach for violence. But he's definitely seen something. He's no predator, but he knows something. Let's let him sweat it out for a while. Mm -hmm. You notice at this point that none of the other guests have stayed in the dining room. They've all, everyone's <coughs> slunk off somewhere. Um, you've no idea where, of course, except for the maid and the detective who are allegedly in the lounge. Back outside. <laughs> Can I just say, I love this Sadler and Waldorf vibe. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. So, meanwhile, back outside, uh, you've made your way to the potting shed, which is open. The door is kind of creaking and banging in the wind. Um, you can see the lake now. Even though the storm is raging, the lake is strangely calm. Obviously, it appears it's just this sort of smooth black shape. And just in the distance, you can see the old stables that presumably houses the, the generators. What do you do? I want to keep going. I do not want to stop at the lake or the potting shed. River. Where? Why don't you and Harry check out this potting shed? Perhaps there's something we could use to uh, shed some more light on the situation. Perhaps. All right, do you want to go, little peeps? Sure, whatever. <laughs> God, if you're sick. Ah, you've been drinking too much whiskey. Yes. Blacked out in the study. Ah, oh, embarrassing for you, little peeps. Yes. Like a little baby trying to drink. <laughs> you know, I've never passed out since I was a baby. <laughs> How <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Do you want to go? <laughs> I must say, you're not selling it. <laughs> uh, Miss Cordova, I'll accompany you. Thank you. Make sure brother. nothing happens on the way. Why is he doing this funny face? <laughs> it seemed like you were doing up to not, up to plans. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> He's doing a number to the plans. Uh, I haven't got any plans. But I don't do an impression man of what you're. He's a priest. I think we can trust him. I will be safe with this gentleman. I no, I know, but you saw his face. It was like. I'll make sure nothing happens <laughs> on the way. I'm going. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to make sure nothing happens on the way. <laughs> So oh, he was okay. much more trustworthy that time, surely. I'm not a fucking con man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you keep on saying that. <laughs> because I'm not a con man. I'm a priest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, see you later, monsieur. <laughs> you have fun in your little uh, generator shed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Who's got the gardener? That's a good question. Uh, Green, he says... Um, well, well, we'll cover you. We have a look at this um, this generator, I suppose. Excellent. Mm. Uh, see if we can get it fixed, running again. Uh, not the first time this has happened. Mm. Storm always knocks it out. Well, uh, <laughs> while you're uh, working away, Miss Cordova, I don't believe we've officially met. We have not. Um, it's nice to meet you. How did you come into the way of God? Just to clarify, have you gone into the into the stables with the generator? At this point? I think we're still making our way there. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think Mr. Green has gone on ahead. Okay. Fine. Yeah. So he's gone inside, and you 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 probably hear him go, "Go on, Bennett." <laughs> Bloody hell! What the what the what the Jeffrey's going on in here? Um, but yes, oh, carry Mr. on. Sorry. Green. How did you find God, Father? Don't none of us find God. God finds us. God sees us in whatever we do. And God can keep a secret about what he sees. I would agree. Miss Cordova, mm -hmm. I want you to know that Sir George Reek doesn't need his wallet anymore. I know someone who does. I mean, you no harm. 
I mean no one here any harm. But secrets... Secrets can cause a lot of hurt. I'm sure we've all got devils in our closet. What's yours is yours. What's mine is mine. When he mentions the devils, mm. I'm going to put my hand to my side. Mm -hmm. Are you all right, Miss Cordova? Perfectly fine, Father. I don't think either of us have any need at all to get in the other's way. But what I would say is, should you find yourself in a position where you can help us both out, we could leave together. <laughs> because I think it's clear to say that you're very recognisable. Should anybody ever ask me about your whereabouts, I'd be able to give them a very vivid description. So should you find yourself in a position where you can help me, I would consider my discretion a very worthy price that I'd be willing to pay. Do we understand each other? Perfectly. I'd like to follow Mr. Green. I'm a priest. <laughs> <laughs> I two believe... and it's all about character speeches. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to follow Mr. Green and see how he's doing because I might be able to help him. Okay. Um, yeah. So you um, you're 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 all soaking wet by now. By the way, it's absolutely heaving it down with rain. You go into the generator shed to find that the, the generator is quite you know in some elaborate um, bit of equipment, and it's a diesel generator. There are these big barrels of, of presumably diesel on the side um, and there's a smell there's that smell of diesel in the air but you notice that the generator has an axe buried in it it looks like it's been sabotaged and as you come in you see green's feet lying behind the generator the rest of his body's obscured by the machine it looks like he's collapsed Lying down on the job. Um, okay. I'm not going to take another step towards him. I think we should leave. Jim. That generator is not fixable. We can't leave him. Mr. Green? Mr. Green, are you all right? From behind you in the doorway. You hear. <sighs> I'm going to put my hand to my side again. I reach for my cuff. There's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a. I'm going to make a lunge for the axe. Okay. Yeah. You grab the axe. Can you give me a strength roll to pull it out of the generator? Oh, my oh, strength goodness. is sixty-five. Oh lord. Sword give it a go, Nate. 66, spend a point on that. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Down to 34, luck. Oh, you're getting lucky by the second. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> All right. Um, do you turn round at this noise? No, or? I think... Oh, I don't know. Um, what would she do? She would... I think she would literally run and drop to the ground so that she can get away from whatever this thing is behind her. Okay, That's yeah. what I'm going to do. I'm going to run and drop to the ground. I'm going to look at it. So you turn around, and in the doorway, the wind howling in the rain. Obviously, it's dark out there, but you can make out this silhouette in the doorway of a figure. It's quite a small... It's still, still the height of a, an adult, but small and slightly hunched over, and it's just very still not moving an inch. Do you have a, do you have the flashlight? No, no I've got it and I'm like, ah, on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Um, from where I am, however far away I've managed to just like throw myself, oh. I'm going to turn the flashlight onto this figure. Let there be light. You turn the flashlight to the figure. Can you give me a spot hidden? 
What's the score? 45. 45. Mm -hmm. Yes, mate. Yes! Oh, come come on. on! That is really good. That's a good one. That's a good one, that. <laughs> she That's says, it's good. really good. <laughs> you turn the light to it, a silhouette disappears, but for a second. Eyes remain. No, 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 no. I don't like these eyes. Both or just four. Give me a spot hidden and see if you saw it. Oh, I want to fail this. Spot hidden 60. Oh, you see it. Oh, you see it. Father. All right. I've got. It's sanity, right? So I've got 59. Feeling fine. Feeling fine, 59. That is a you are oh, 12. Yeah. I have not failed the sanity roll this whole time. What have you seen? You still lose one point of sanity. Yeah, right? yeah that makes sense. Uh, Miss Sanity is 73. Nice, 94. 94. That is a 94. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I've already lost Where's two. Where's your god now? <laughs> oh, long dead. <laughs> yeah, I think this is. You lose three sanity points. All right, that brings me up to five. Is that okay? You're a third of the way there. Oh, good. Oh, good. good for you. <laughs> Others are closer. Um, speaking of which, let's go over to the potty shed. I'm going to smoke in a joint in the potty shed. <laughs> you know what, uh, Monsieur Pips, uh, I think you're actually a pretty all right guy. <laughs> That's what people don't realise about me, actually, when you get to know me. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm a really loyal friend. I think you just need to chill out, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be yourself. Yeah, you just, yeah, yeah. I want to see from you is that you're trying to be the big man. Yeah, yes, but you yes. don't need to be. No, there. you don't need to just be. Just be Bobby, you, you know. The plant pots on the shelf um, <laughs> start to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're also overgrown. They they've grown right off the shelf and they they spool at the floor different sort of vines and creepers. They also look dead though. But yeah, there's something not right about that. And can you both give me um, either a listen or a spot hidden? Doesn't matter which. Well, I'll go spot hidden. Do you want I'll to go first? Go... I'll go spot hidden as well because I have no points in either. So. Hey! 17. 17, very good. That's got to be a success, right? Yes. Yeah, I've got, I've, and I've got 25. Sorry, yeah. what's in. yours? Here we go. Mine's going to be really spot hidden. We've got 50 in. 50? And that's 14. 14. So 14. So that oh, very is. good, both. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's a hard success. Spot's been on hidden. The smoke um, that you're smoking uh, gathers at the top of the potting shed, and you both become, in your peripheral vision, you become aware of movement above you. And as you look up, there are hundreds of spiders <gasps> that are now fidgeting around from the smoke. But they're strange looking spiders. They're big, too big. And they have these bulbous, bulging bodies like sacks of marbles. They're all strange colors, not quite not quite uh, you know, gray and not quite white, not quite blue, not quite uh, scarlet. This game was rigged against me from the start. <laughs> oh, it's always rigged against everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm seeing spooky things. <laughs> but that is sanity rolls, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Go on. Uh, can we have Tilly last, yeah, please? Yeah, I mean, I do have 80 sanity. I'm <laughs> You're fairly unflappable. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's 60. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're 60. doing fine. Yeah, I'm fine, oh. I'm fine. And you're about what's, to see a man go mad. My sanity is 43. Oh, no, oh, no, no! No, no. no. Oh, that's a 93. 93. 93. Oh, dear. Um, you just see a bunch of strange looking spiders. <laughs> yeah. uh, so you don't lose any sanity, but they are very odd. But when you look up, not only do you see spiders that you hate, not only do you see weird spiders that are not like any spider you've seen before, they also seem to make the shape of a face staring down at you. It's a bearded face. Mm, is it Jesus? <laughs> no, surely not. But 
you lose four centimeters. Oh, oh no! <laughs> He's out. He is <laughs> out of there. Definitely mad. <laughs> Unfortunately for all of you, uh, Harry Peeps is not out of here. He's very much here, only now he's indefinitely insane. <laughs> um, let's see what happens. Well, I'm going to run. I'm going to run for my life because I'm very afraid. So yeah, you see um, Harry Peep scream and start to run. And then he gets just outside the door and collapses. Shit. Way out. Way out. Uh, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run out and I'm going to grab Harry Peeps. I'm not very strong, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to try and carry. Oh okay. God, just carry, leave carry. me. Well, just leave me. you don't need to roll because as soon as, you, as soon as you touch him, his eyes flick open and he says, ah, good, <laughs> help me. Of course, of course, Harry, come on, come on. We have to get back to the house. Yes, yes, immediately, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> this way. And he starts walking very fast, striding. Okay, slow, slow down, Harry. <laughs> he walks past the conservatory, I, around the outside of the house. Harry, you've gone the wrong, we can go in through here. Uh, do you hesitate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see him go into a side door, which you assume must be the mud room. Um, yeah. That's the last you see of him. Meanwhile, back in the house. <laughs> Harry, no, Harry. Harry. <laughs> oh, Harry. Uh, what, what are you two gents up to now? Who are you going to bully next? <laughs> I'm bullying the same police officer. <laughs> bullying is a word made up by the weak to justify their weakness. You can't intimidate me, yeah, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> That's God you're talking to, essentially. I'm going to damn well try. <laughs> but, Buck, old chum, would you uh, accompany me to the library? Just for a change of scene. I'm game. Fabulous. <laughs> You're big, big game. game. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big game hunter. <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> Get up and start making my way to oh, the library. Absolutely yeah. bullied to the library. I'm so going to about... take one last glance back at Officer Quinnell to see what he's doing. He, um, it looks like he's nodding off slightly. He sort of, he sort of occasionally like his head tilts to the, to the table a bit and then he sort of, whoa. <laughs> You must be Very careful good. near that fireplace. And uh, yeah, so you've got this scene of him sort of nodding off, and then above him is this portrait, just staring down. But oddly, <clears throat> before it was like the eyes followed you around the room, but now it feels like they're looking very much at Constable Cornell. That's strange. Utterly anyway, normal. Utterly normal. Yeah. So you make your way to the library. So about 20 minutes later... Um, <laughs> I need to take a book out. You cross the hall. <laughs> take about five minutes to get over the gammon. And... Um, Just hitting out of the way with my stick. <laughs> Are we walking past the gammon? Yes. Um, I'm just going to... While I'm behind Sheldon, <laughs> just stick a hand in, tear off a piece and eat it. Oh, okay. Interesting. That is interesting. So yeah. Oh no, the food! Oh, the dude. things they grow here! <laughs> like the pigs, I guess. The long he pigs! He doesn't even notice himself do it. Oh, okay. The animals cool. are different here. So you get into the library. Uh, the library is, is uh, it's a musty smelling room. The fire is going. It's the only real source of light in here. Um, there's obviously loads of books. Uh, and uh, yeah, what do, what do you do? I'm going to begin. I'm going to begin to have a browse, mm -hmm. uh, looking for some specific books. What specifically are you looking for? I'm looking for anything that pertains to our shared interests. Mine and George Reeks. Okay. Um, oh, I should also say the first thing you see as you go through the door is uh, on the opposite wall, hanging between the windows, is a very large portrait of um, a. An Elizabethan or Jacobean looking man. Um, he, uh, he's got a little beard and, and this long black robe. Um, 
And there is another portrait above the fireplace of, um, of another similarly dressed man, clearly a different man, who bears a passing resemblance to Sir George. Um, yeah. So uh, let's have... Um, well, I suppose you can give me a library use, right? Library use. Yeah. Library I've use. got 50 library in library use. use. That's not 99. Good. 99. <laughs> oh dear. Got okay, read. that's an interesting <laughs> result. And what have you got in your library use? 50. Oh, okay. So not, not quite a fumble. Mm. Um, Who would roll a fumble? Do you want to push the roll? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> yeah. How, how are you going to push this? How am I going to push this? I'm going to look for, uh, just check if there's a Dewey Decimal System <laughs> in play. <laughs> uh, sure, okay. Yeah. 51. By one point. Unfortunately, you failed the roll. Unfortunately, you can't, you can't spend luck on a pushed roll. One um, point. One <laughs> point. It wanted me to fail. Yes, but um, you, you can fail forward, so you might get what you want, just maybe not in the way you wanted it. Um, so here's what happens. You uh, start looking through the books, and this takes a bit of time, but you come across, um, you come across a, a few books about the history of the estate, which catch your eye. You find out that the estate was built in 1580, and it was gifted to Randall Reek. It was a gift of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Um, as you read a bit more, you realise this sounds like it was a golden handshake because he was working at the time for John Dee, who was Queen Elizabeth's um, uh, sort of fortune teller slash court wizard, um, occultist, whatever. It all smacks of them trying to get him out of London, you think. So they gave him this estate to yeah. build this mansion on. He built the estate and everything else. But then you find this correspondence uh, it's just sandwiched in a, in a sort of basic leather folio between a couple of books. And you realise it's letters from John Dee to Randall Reek. So incredibly valuable antique bit of documentation. And the letter says, it basically says, um, and this is from John Dee, saying, I will come at my earliest convenience. This is an urgent matter, so expect me by sunset tomorrow. We will examine this meteorite and see if it is the fallen angel you describe. If it is, we must act quickly to contain it. I have read of similar events and they have all ended tragically. But if we act properly, we may be able to tap its power. I will lend you the book that you have so desperately sought. But seeing as you failed a push roll, you have found yourself with this incredibly antique and valuable bit of documentation, having to get closer and closer to the fire to read it, because it's so, such scrawled little, you know, Elizabethan handwriting. And then it catches. And it, you panic, <laughs> and it's it's too late. It's it's on fire. It's on fire. And it's it's, it's gone. <clears throat> Difficult to read. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, though. Seems this house has a, a number of secrets, not least of which should be a concern, is the one upstairs in the trophy room. What did you see on that little bit of cloth? Some sort of creature that uh, defies categorization by all the normal means. It was, it was sort of part ape, part some sort of terrible lizard. And just out the over his shoulder, you see through the window, you see Harry Peeps walking very purposefully past the window. Looks like someone's grown a backbone. <laughs> <laughs> see, they're just possessed. <laughs> see, the thing is, um, it had a sort of the air of uh, something from a colder clime. Um, we actually have um, 
We've got a number of specimens that Shackleton brought back in the collection, you see, um, from the Antarctic. First time, obviously, he had three major trips to the Antarctic, and the second time, the endurance was sadly lost. Uh, but the things he brought back with him, wow, they were there. A number of seabirds, a number of other winged creatures. But it was, uh, this was, this is something I've never seen before. Tell me, hmm, Mr. Nelson, do you have anything from the Yukon? Hmm. No, I don't think I do, actually. I'd be very interested to acquire something like that, though. I'm always, uh, looking to give the public uh, something that they can really, something that, something that would change their perception of Ooh. reality. Let me offer you a proposition. I plan on returning to somewhere that is home to some very strange things. And I'm more than willing to bring you back something from that trip. Mm -hmm. All I need from you, a trifling matter, naturally, is to get that object into the back of my car. Hmm. Oh. Well, as you can see, I'm a bit of a, a bit clumsy. I don't know if it's slow. Maybe I'm not the one to help you with that, but... I'll help you. He turned, the colonel is stood in the doorway. <laughs> Sorry, uh, he clearly had a lot to drink. He said, I didn't catch everything. Something about the Yukon? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never been, but I hear it's an extraordinary place. I, I had such ambitions to travel, you know, but the war and the... Must, the gas attack left me a bit, uh, a bit weak, you know. But of course, it's um, it's never too late, is it? There's a gunshot, and his chest explodes. What? <gasps> and he collapses forwards to reveal Harry Peep stood behind him with a shotgun that's still no. smoking. No. Surprise! His face is completely blank, and then he drops the shotgun and collapses. Meanwhile, back outside. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you two doing? Miss Cordova, you saw that as well. I saw something. I, I wish I could say it was the first time I've seen that since we arrived at this house. But I imagine it's some trick of the storm, electrical currents or something. What did you see? I don't believe in tricks of the storm. They teach us to believe in things beyond our ken. What's your history with this place? I lived here for a time. Um, I was educated here. I've never seen anything like this here before. Miss Cordova, I know a thing or two about bearing scars. What happened to you? <laughs> uh, this one. This is my scar. Sorry, where? It's you... on my face. I, I, I moved the flashlight directly. Do a spot into... hidden. Into Nathaniel's it's fucking eye. Here. <laughs> so much subtext. Um, <laughs> me. What does this a metaphor for? And I'm going to reach back and I'm going to realise that my scar is visible and cover it. I can promise you that that was not received at this place. That was entirely human. Nothing about shadows or lights in the dark. That was not here. This was human too. All humans carry shadows. Look, we should leave this place. It's not safe. One person has died. There are things in the trees. I completely agree with you. We should get away as fast as we can. I need what I stashed in the lounge, and then we'll go. We can use my car, but you have to help me, please. I need that money. They are holding interviews in the lounge. I know they are. 
I'm not leaving without that money. It is not for me. Father, you will not leave with- Father. <laughs> Did you hear that? I'd like to roll a listen, please, because I've got a lot of listen. Sure. What else can I hear other than the storm? Can I even hear Mr. Green, who's still lying down? What's going on? Oh, oh, oh sorry, Mr. Green. <laughs> 53. My listen is... 54! <laughs> Are you kidding? That's ridiculous. She heard! She's not kidding! <laughs> yeah, you didn't hear anything. Oh. Did I hear something, Daddy Dom? I think you did, yeah. It sounded like a little girl saying, Father. It's Peeps. <laughs> oh, We've all got a terrible case of the Peeps. <laughs> it's Quinnell. <laughs> <laughs> what do I hear? Father. <coughs> I uh, touch the crucifix on my chest. I look back at Ivy. We are gonna break into that lounge. We're gonna bust open that fireplace. And then we are getting the fuck off this property. I'm in. If you say so, it must be done that way. We need to get away, I don't have a car. Whatever it takes. Thank you. I'm, I don't know what you've sashed in there. And I don't know what we are going to need to make it out alive, but I have a gun. It's called over. You do surprise me. I don't believe that for a second. If you wouldn't mind, I would rather have it and at my side right now in my hands. Is that all right with you? I trust you. Do you trust me? Not in the slightest, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I take out my gun, and I, I hold it in my shaking hands, but I hold it down by my side. Would you rather see the state that Mr. Green is in, or are you happy to leave him behind? I'm a priest. I need to go and say the last rites. I'm going to go and have a look and I'm see. I'm going to follow with my gun mm. held out. I've got my axe as well. I've still got, I've got the axe. You've got an axe? I've got an axe. He's lying completely prone on his back. All right, I'm going to get a little closer to him and check his pulse. He's alive. And as you check his pulse, his eyes open slightly. And he says, he was sick, you know, he was so sick. But then he got, we thought it was going to be the end of him. Mr. Green? But then he said he found something. What? He said he'd live forever. Mr. Green, what's happened? Quiet! And do everything. I think he's gone mad, you know. And no wonder someone killed him. He'd gone mad. Mr. Green, stay with us. Mr. Green? What? What's wrong? What's happened to you? You're working on the generator. What's happened, Mr. Green? Sometimes he talks and he doesn't sound like him. I think he's gone mad, you know. We need to get him to the house. Mad. Mr. Green. We don't I'm, need to get into that. I'm going to pop him over my shoulder. Oh, excellent. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. uh, so you, you're going to carry him back to the house. Mm. Okay. Harry Peeps, it's very dark where you are. Very dark indeed. The walls are very close, you think. Your body feels strange. Like your hands are different. You can't move them though. Why can't you move your hands? All you can hear is your heartbeat. Oh, is it dark? Or <laughs> are your eyes not there? <laughs> can you give me a give me a power roll? Sure. What's your power? My power is fifty. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 87. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep, 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 yep. You can always push the roll. Um, why not? <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly what go possibly wrong? Go You're wrong. already fucking mad. <laughs> yeah, um, I try and then... Um, I think of my family. Oh yeah, nice. Nice, yeah. nice. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, like oh, it nice. Hey, hey. Hello. Family. Like my mum. You think of family. 
And suddenly you see Juliet, Juliet Reek, nay, plum, and she's looking up at you as if you're, as if you're ha like hanging on a wall. And she's got red eyes, her, her makeup is running slightly. It looks like quite a very comfortable room. There's a big uh, rug on the floor that's a, a bear pelt. And there's all these sort of trophies and things around. And, and there's a big, you can see there's a big, big drinks cabinet in one corner. But she's sort of looking up at you and crying and she's going, oh, Henry, oh, Henry, where are you, Henry? Why couldn't they find you, Henry? And then you blink and you're in the lounge. You know it's the lounge, you think. Again, you feel like you're looking down from the wall and you can see the detective and he stood, um, he's pacing up and down. The maid is sat on the couch and um, she's, she's listening to him. And occasionally she's, she says things. Sometimes she speaks in French, but he carries on speaking in English. And you blink again and it looks like you're in a library. You can see Carlton and Buck. They're stood open mouthed. And you see yourself holding a gun and you watch yourself faint next to the dead body of the Colonel. At which point you wake up and you're lying on the floor in the library doorway, holding a shotgun or next to a shotgun. Can you give me a sanity roll, please? <laughs> yeah. Oh, for God's <laughs> What's your sanity? My sanity is now 39. Mm. Let's go all the way, baby. All the way to the top. <laughs> 91. 91. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a top. winner, baby. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good sound, though. Uh, so that's uh, four sanity points you lose there. Oh, Peace oh out. Hit, hit. So you've lost uh, 15 at this point, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, crikey. Yeah, 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 laugh it up. <laughs> you'll be following me soon. <laughs> you don't have to be mad to play here, but it helps. Yeah. <laughs> Your eyes open and you're convinced the walls are full of spiders. The spiders are watching you, they're listening to you, they're out to get you, they are in the walls. Yeah. The spiders are in the walls. 100%. They're gonna kill you all. Yeah. Why wouldn't I think that oh, exactly. at this point? Exactly. Uh, like old chum, get the gun off him. <laughs> um, I'm gonna reach for the gun. Fine. I'm just gonna cut over to, um, to uh, yes, um, yes. <laughs> Sonny Bobs, who's just been presumably stood at the conservatory. Standing, <laughs> looking at the conservatory. <laughs> Like, For some time. <laughs> what eventful day. <laughs> what did we smoke together? I don't know what we smoked, but it's been really bad. Um, so I'm, <laughs> you saw a painting get destroyed. You've, you've smoked a joint. <laughs> saw loads of spiders. Yeah. And somebody collapsed, then run off in a very serious manner. And then presumably heard a gunshot. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run in and basically yeah join them in this in this. Actually, um, while you're waiting in the conservatory for a little bit of time, can you give me a con roll? Yes. Constitution. Yes. Forty-five. Forty-five. Not great. Thirty-seven. He's done it. It'll do. He's done it. It's really very well. Uh, you start to feel a bit woozy in there. The smell of pollen is quite intense. Mm. Um, but yeah, you um, you sort of keep it together and uh, and then you hear this gunshot that draws you over to the library. Mm -hmm. Speaking of constitution rolls, Tom, could I have one from you, please? Be delighted to. Don't eat the food. What's your con? 80. Oh! oh. Yes. oh. I'm gonna push it. Uh, how are you pushing this? Um, so what am I using my constitution against at the moment? It's almost, oh, your stomach really hurts. It's like you've eaten something really bad. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forgot you grabbed a handful of ham on your way. <laughs> Gammon. Ham. Gammon, excuse me. I have eaten a lot of bad meat in the last 20 years. So I'm just going to try to will myself through that feeling of nausea. Mm -hmm. There's been times when I've 
had to eat the only thing there is to eat. I've just had to kind of willpower away that sickness. Just got to be below 80. Big money, no glue. Oh. Oh, you've done it. By the way, I've done it. Yeah. 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 yeah, so you you suddenly feel very... It's not just nausea. It's like this wave of drowsiness that you have to fight against and you realise in that moment the gammon was... It wasn't just poisoned. It was laced with something specific. Something to knock you out, not necessarily to kill you. You've, your fortitude's got you through, but you're convinced now. Someone put something in the food. So you've all uh, ended up uh, together, the f uh, four of you. Uh, Harry Peeps is just coming too, uh, terrified of the spiders in the walls. Fuck. Yeah, on Colin's advice, I'm going to try and grab the gun. Get the gun, old boy. Yeah, uh, I think, unless you're resisting, I think I probably do resist. I don't think I'm... Well, I'm not sane, am I? Mm. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm going to limp to cover. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there in an hour. <laughs> uh, so I think, this is, I think this is an oppo a straight opposed dexterity roll. Okay. You can get to it first. Mm. Okay. My dex is... Do I not already 60. have the gun? Oh, I, I, think you dro it. I think oh, I okay. said you dropped it, yeah. yeah. Right. 60 so, for Tom. Lock eyes. Tilly, what's Look yours? at the gun. Back at each other. My dex is 60. Both 60. Oh, it's all to play for. You're a nippy little bastard, aren't you? Spiders, they're everywhere. You're one of them. <laughs> sure, it's fine. We're looking for the best degree of success. That's no, a fail. Might be seven. Oh, no. It, listen, all you have I to could do. still. A two! It's a two! A it's two. unbelievable! Yeah. Fuck yeah! That's extreme as success <laughs> as you can I get. Am, I am the Giga Chad. <laughs> now that I've gone insane. You I'm whip up the shotgun. Strong. What do you do now? I just kind of wildly swing it. I'm like, are you one of them? You're gonna kill me. Mr. They're, Peeps? They're all gonna kill me. Mr. Peeps, calm down! <laughs> calm down, Mr. Peeps! Oh god! My mother! <laughs> My mother! Okay. And I just I shoot a single round into the ceiling. <laughs> Mother! How many? How many? Uh, it's a double barrel shotgun, so the, that's that's the that's the last of it. Okay. Um, <laughs> in which case, I'm just going to, knowing that that's the last of it, I'm just going to go for Pete's. Okay. Try to get the gun off. I'm just going to tackle him. Okay. Uh, well, this sounds like we're going into Dex order here, and you do have advantage on the Dex because you go first, so you can give me a fighting brawl roll. My right? fighting brawl uh, is. Uh, 50 on the money. Let's see what happens. That is a 96. It's <laughs> <laughs> unbelievable. What is going on? <laughs> well, you do, you do have food poisoning to me. Yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah. That, that um, so, so he's he's coming at you. Yeah. Jumping down at you. He's a bit, he's a bit gangly. Um, <laughs> uh, what do you do? Uh, Gonna try and wrestle him right back. Okay, yeah. You're gonna lock up, boy. Yeah, yeah. Got an elbow tie. That's, a, that's a fighting brawl, roll yeah. then, please. Okay. okay, my fighting is fifty. Ooh. Ooh. 50. Yeah. Uh, you can spend luck on combat rolls, but you can't push them. Yeah, I'll spend the luck because I don't really think I'm gonna get the chance to spend it on anything else because I'm pretty, <laughs> yeah. pretty nuts. Also, after your like your journey from being the one crying on yeah. the floor, yeah. Mad Harry is unstoppable. Mad yeah. Harry is just Oh my god, if like, you have to earn, you earn Buck's respect. You're going to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, um, that puts me down to fifty-two luck. Okay, so yeah, you um, <laughs> you <laughs> as he just gets nearly on top of you, you swing with the the shotgun and uh, clock him around the head. Uh, I think that's a D6 plus your damage bonus for damage. My damage bonus is 1D4. Oh, this could be nasty. How many hit points you got? I have uh, 10, 10 hit points. That's impressive. Harry's pretty tough. I'm actually, I'm actually quite strong, <laughs> physically. Oh no. <gasps> Four and oh seven! Seven! Oh my Holy shit! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah, so this, uh, so <laughs> You've broken his fucking head open! <laughs> Sorry, Tom. I love a bit of blue on blue. <laughs> that PvP. <laughs> Always make sure it's an early night. While I'm crying about my mom. Oh no, it's cool. I'm, <laughs> I'm on four. I've got. I was looking at my magic points. I've got fourteen hit points. Okay, so that's still half your hit points. Yeah. So what that means is, in Call of Cthulhu, if you if you do damage that is half, or if you take damage that's half your hit points or more, uh, there is the risk of a major wound. 
Uh, or in fact, I think it just is a major wound. Uh, so uh, tick that major wound box. Ticked. Major wound. Um, major so wound. yeah, it's a, it's a really nasty wound. You probably probably broke, shattered your jaw a bit there, um, or something of that ilk. Uh, and so you get knocked prone. But do you stay conscious or not? That will require a constitution roll. Okay. Oh, you've been rolling great, Tom, so don't worry about yeah. it. Yep. <laughs> Just need to get below 80. High 90s. <laughs> 94! <laughs> oh, Tom, Tom ch- change those dice, Tom. You need to change those no, I'm dice. I'm using up the 90s now, I'm keeping them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Buck, Buck is knocked unconscious. And as I we run. know, being unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> so of course you do. I run. Where's your peeps? <laughs> I'm going to chase after him. Just a rear, rear screen projection of you two just running on the spot. As you, as you run towards the front door, the two of you, the lounge door opens and uh, the maid sort of steps out looking a, a little shaken. And the detective stands there and goes, Ah, Mr. Peeps, I'll see you next. <laughs> God! <laughs> and, uh, Mr. Proletariat. Wait. Why don't you both step in? Oh. And he gestures on. into the lane. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> you just killed a man, and you're going to go and have a chat with Poirot. <laughs> killed a man and broken another's <laughs> jaw. Yep. Oh dear. Uh, so, yeah, so I, I take it you, do you resist yeah. or do you just, would you um, just go in? Well, I think, I think I'll probably, you'll probably start babbling about the spiders. Oh, you're an agent, you're an agent of theirs. The spiders, they control everything. I've seen them in the walls. Some are big, some are, some are even bigger. Some are very small, very small. They can crawl into your ears, into your eyes, into your nose. Oh God. Sir. Oh God. <laughs> he puts his hand on you and he goes, I understand. This is a very traumatic time. I understand about the spiders. Why don't you come and sit down and tell me in detail about the spiders you have seen, and we'll see if we can't bring them to justice. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. I like this guy. And then he he looks at you and says, will you accompany me in the lounge? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) I have much to say. (laughs) Excellent. So yeah, you go into the lounge and he, he offers you a seat um, next to the broken canvas that's lying on the floor. Um, what what, what uh, are you, you three doing? I'm rushing to his aid. <laughs> well, you two are still outside, aren't you? Well, yes. we're on our way to the house, yeah. so we could have... Don't worry, old boy. I'll be there soon. <laughs> Just hang on. <laughs> Stay with me, Buck. <laughs> Stay with me. <laughs> Buck. I feel like first aid is a generous term in this case. <laughs> <laughs> Major You'll need the priest required. for final yes. aid. Um, yes. As we are walking back to the house, yeah. mm. I would like to just engage you in just one bit of conversation, because I see on the way back to the house is past the lake, right? Uh, well, you're near the lake at, yeah, you could be walking that so way. So I could see it? Oh yeah, for sure. Miss Cordova, that painting that you so um, elegantly destroyed <laughs> earlier, did you notice it must have been painted before this lake. Is this a man-made lake? I don't know anything about this lake apart from that I have always known it and it wasn't in that painting. Mm. The only thing, <laughs> I don't know if to share this with you. I had the strange feeling when I, <sighs> when I put my arm through the painting, I feel as if it was exactly where the lake should have been. Mm. But maybe that was just coincidence. Maybe. What maybe you not. what you may well know. In fact, this probably requires an education role. Oh, that's to fine. Know I've it. got such a high education. Yes, let's have that uh, education role. Okay, my education is eighty-five. Oh, stop off. it! I know, right? But God, I have fumbled before. She's educated. So educated. What's oh, fifty-two? So you know. Um, it's not talked about much, but you know that Sir George's son, Henry, he died in that lake. He drowned, they say. But you don't know if they ever recovered the body. Why are you so interested in that lake? 
I'm interested in all things that don't make sense. There are lots of things about that lake that don't make sense. From what I've heard, I think we should be focusing on getting your belongings back and leaving this place as fast as we can. It wasn't long ago that somebody died on that lake. I don't believe they found him. I heard I... the rumours. A child. I don't think a child. Is it not? I don't think no, so. I think it was a grown ass man. Oh, it was a grown ass man. He was married. He was married. All right, we'll just no, go no, that. No, 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 I just can't. No, no, that's not him. And you're like, uh, actually. Fuck's sake. Uh, my education. There's, a, there's my... a grown woman upstairs crying at this portrait of an eight year old boy. <laughs> my, my husband. husband. My husband. <laughs> Where are you? He died on the lake. We shouldn't have been, we shouldn't have been piloting that boat. He didn't know how to walk. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't even walk. I'm just trying to provide narrative links and a backstory. <laughs> Fuck you all. <laughs> Uh, my education is 65. Uh, so I got a, um, a 20 25. 25. <clears throat> 25. You have heard stories about this estate. Um, they're a bit more like ghost stories, really. But as Green sort of mentioned, children like to um, play sort of dares at Halloween where they sneak onto the estate and dare each other to jump in the lake. And over the years, there have been times when children have gone missing. They didn't get out of the lake, you think. There are also stories um, of strange and horrible accidents happening at the estate. Every, you know, throughout history, there's been these stories about just horrible coincidences that have happened where a number of people have died in, in one go. <laughs> Can't look at you in the eye. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, look, I've heard many things about this land. <laughs> Some of which involve children, so I'm technically correct. Also, even as an adult, he's still S Sir George Reese's child, so... My apologies, I Father. I was right, in a way. You were 100% right. I completely apologise for uh, intruding on the information that you so clearly knew, that I knew nothing of. <laughs> Look, I was going to have a big thing about how sad it is when a parent loses their child. You know, just the sort of thing that I'm alluding to over the course of the game. <laughs> Let's get back to the house. Let's get back to the house. As you walk towards the house, you see the windows. There's a few lights here and there from candles that have been lit. Mostly the windows are dark. Conservatory's dark. And can you both give me spot hidden rolls? I don't so, want to keep passing these spot hidden rolls. No, it's horrible. Absolutely. 45. 94! It's a nice old failure. I see a thing. Not a fumble though. I see nothing. Um, 60. Ooh. 15. Oh, good. Not I can see it perfectly. <laughs> you see it's perfect. Extreme success, I believe. You see the upstairs window, a little hand against the glass. And then a face comes into view. Oh. It's your little girl. She looks so pale and ill. And then there's someone else just behind her. You realize it's the face you've seen in your dreams, the face of pestilence. But you've seen that face somewhere else, somewhere in the house. There's a portrait of that Jacobean face. It's a sanity roll, please. Oh! 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 99! Oh! 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 
99. 99. Luckily, your sanity is、uh, over 50, so that's not a fumble. So you won't take the maximum sanity loss unless I roll it. <laughs> Join me. <laughs> it does seem、I'm、a lot better、so、on your、good. side. <laughs> <gasps> you lose five sanity points. Hey, cool! I've lost ten.、Oh. You have lost ten, but you need to lose fifteen to go indefinitely insane. Oh, however,、oh. because you've lost five in one go,、oh. there is now the risk of temporary insanity. So the way this works is, you now do an intelligence roll. If you fail the intelligence roll, you don't understand what this means, and you repress it. It's just something weird that's happened. Ignorance is bliss. If you succeed on the intelligence roll, you understand completely what's going on, and you go do lally. <sighs> Curse my intelligence, sixty-five. Oh. <gasps> oh, thank God, eighty-two. A narrowly avoided mishap.、Uh, it's horrible. It's horrible, and you lose your five sanity points, and you you gasp in you see him gasp in horror. Pointing at the upstairs window. Meanwhile, in the lounge, the detective has sat you down on these sofas. You're sat, looking at him. He's、um, pacing up and down, and、uh, he says,、um, uh, "He says so. You、uh, are shaken about the spiders, and you are the painter." Would you like me to explain、uh, why I think、uh, Monsieur Bips is so upset? Do you speak to him in English or French? Oh, English! <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's rude to do it in front of、uh... the spiders. Oh God, they're every. I can't. I'm not listening to anything you're saying. I so, no, don't do it on. on oh、Bips、yeah, you、account. should do it in French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it in French. Barely paying attention. Yeah. You you don't have to speak French. You can just say I say that in French. I'll say all this in French. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He he sort of listens and and nods and then and then he puts up his hand and he says,、um, I think for Mister Peeps's sake we should、um, speak in English. Can you give me a French roll? Yes, French. A French roll. roll. A French roll. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> a brioche. <laughs> <laughs> What's your French? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's the、uh, same as your education because it's your natural. Oh, it's I your, see. It's your native language. Oh, so it's only fifty. Can't speak half French. Can't. I cannot. See you like the funky music. Your your be- your English is better. <laughs> yeah, my English is better than my French. That、friend. was lovely. Really makes sense. Thanks for that. I'm going to give you. I think I feel like I should give you a bonus. Thirty-one. Done it. Done it. Um, you successfully remember some French. <laughs> <laughs> remember my own language. So, <laughs> so speak thinking in English I'll, first. I'll tell you the result of that in just a second.、Mm. Um, because he says,、uh, he says,、um, I should tell you, I know all about you. Everyone, I know you all had a motive. I know about it. I know that you.、Uh, he never paid you, did he, for that commission? Was it? Yes. Yes, it was a beautiful piece, and、uh... and it drove you. Made you furious, made you rage, and so you thought you would get your revenge. I did not want revenge. I presumed he had invited me here to apologize to me face to face, but he did not. No, he wanted something else. And you, Mister Peeps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hugging the shotgun. <laughs> Rocking. You've always lived in the shadows of your successful friends, but you have so much talent. Why do you always get overlooked? Someone like Sir George could lift you out of the gutter, but instead, he funds your competitor, and it's made you bitter on the inside. You hate yourself for having to suck up to these aristocrats. Now he's dead. One vein in his forehead, twitching. Did he really deserve to die for it? And then, and then he—it's like he hears something. He says, "Excuse me a moment. Do not leave the lounge." And he storms out. 
and river proletariat. When you spoke to him in French, he looked like he was listening, but you realized he can't understand you. He can't speak French. We have to stop whatever evil forces in this house from completing its ritual. We have to find the book. No, you've killed I him. haven't, I promise I haven't. And she's backing out the room. I pick up my gun and Detective. I say, don't you take another step. Oh. Don't take another fucking step. You hear this voice like an angel and it says, help me. But what about my daughter? She will live forever if I can be free. Fight me, boy. What? Um, I am going to throw the axe at him. <laughs> you lose five hit points. No, 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 no! We're running out of time. The angel must not be free. 